Hey, this is Scene Detail. I'm Chris, and this is MMA for you. I'm going to be doing my prediction for 1FC, which is going to happen on September 3rd, uh, and it's going to be sh uh, streamed on Sharedog. Um, unless you live in Asia, then um, there's uh, other outlets uh, to be able to watch the show. Uh, I'm only going to do, be doing the main card. There are some uh, UFC veterans in there, a Gracie in here, um, a lot of Asian fighters in here as well. Um, some disclaimers, I'm Filipino, I'm gonna, I'm favoring the Filipinos in this one, um, some of these guys, I'm not too familiar with, uh, some of these guys, um, you know, I, I so, you know, I did some research, I, I did man check out a couple fights of the, of some of these guys and whatnot, and, uh, just read a little bit about their backgrounds, so, um, uh, a lot of these are just pick really. Hit neck, first fight of the night, we have Andy Wang. Versus uh, Zoro Bebo uh, Marrera or Zoro. Uh, you know, Andy Wang hasn't fought since May of 2010. His record's like he's a point five hundred fighter, um, and he was <laughs> pretty much in the Ultimate Fighter. I mean, the guy was pretty much like I mean, BJ made fun of him. You know, <laughs> um, not just that. Um, with Zoro, um, he, he is a, a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu world champion and he trains with Evolve. You'll see a lot of guys uh, that train with in Evolve here. I believe like Rafael dos Anjos and Shinya Aoki, among others, uh, train at Evolve, including a plethora of just like high level Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys and Muay Thai guys. I'm sure some wrestlers too. So I'm going with Zoro to win this one. Next fight after that, we have Gregor Gracie versus Sik, uh, Sek Mo Kim. I got Gregor Gracie winning this one. I mean, uh, Kim's wins both by submission. I mean, he's against a Gracie who's just a submission specialist. Um, you know, take, you know, just seeing it, just take down, you know, control, submission. Um, next fight after that, we have Mitch Chilson from Singapore versus Eric Kelly from the Philippines. Um, this is a really interesting fight. I mean, I'm gonna choose Kelly. He's Filipino, <laughs> but um, with Mitch, um, one thing is he is 33. He, he's not too experienced yet. He does have a Muay Thai background. He looks pretty comfortable on the ground. Uh, that's probably gonna be helped, especially since he trains and evolve. Um, and this fight's actually a fight I, I'm kind of looking forward to. Um, Eric Kelly. He's like 29, undefeated. He's five and zero. All five wins are by submission. Four of them by rear naked choke. The other one's a leg lock. Um, besides uh, mixed martial arts, he also, well, actually, uh, um, that was like, that's wrong because every martial arts a uh, mixed martial art. So um, he is a practitioner in Yayan and um, which is a Filipino uh, kickboxing discipline and wushu. Um, he is the URCC champion from uh, the Philippines. Um, so I am picking him to win this one as well. Next fight after that, we have some UFC veterans as Phil, the New York badass uh, Baroni versus uh, Yoshiyuki Yoshida. Um, I mean, we know the Baroni drill. I mean, it's, it's pretty much this guy's going to blitz in the first round. He gasses after the first round. Then he looks terrible. Uh, most fights, he gasses. You know, she's just really like hot and cold. Um, his judo, I mean, if he can really work his judo on Baroni, um, he should. You know, she's just kind of chinny and really small for his weight class, whereas Baroni's like really big for weight class. Um, so Baroni could actually just pound him out and within it. If Yoshida can't weather the storm, um, Veroni actually has some wrestling ability too, but he gasses out, so it becomes a little easier for a lot of guys to take him down um, and just, you know, tee off on him too because he's uh, gasses out uh, early on. Uh, I'm counting on on Yoshida being able to weather the early storm and eventually uh, get the takedowns using his superior judo and winning uh, the grappling department. Okay, and the uh, main event of the night, we have Edward Falaliang versus uh, As uh, 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 Sol Kwan. Okay, ah, that was really bad, sorry. <laughs> um, once again, 
uh, Fala, Fala Yang is um, Filipino, I'm teaching him to win. But, um, you know, he, he's only had one defeat in his career. He's actually pretty much like the best fighter coming out of the Philippines right now. Um, Wushu practitioner who, who's actually is an Asian Games medalist in Wushu, URCC champion. Um, he has really good takedowns. Um, Wushu does actually have takedowns in them and I I can tell that's really helped his like takedown game. Uh, he, he likes to, it seems like he likes to do a lot of ground and pound as opposed to uh, fishing for submissions. Um, his stand up, um, it's hot and cold. Uh, he can get wild at times. He wants to put on the show. Uh, with Quan, he's 17 and 6. Nine wins of nine of his wins are by uh, KO or TKO, and he's on a six fight win streak. Um, it's it's a tough fight for um, Fala Yang, um, especially if Fala Yang uh, can't get the takedown and um, keeps the fight standing. Uh, that's where Quan's most uh, likely gonna be the most dangerous. But I do have a uh, Fala Yang uh, winning this one. Okay, and that's pretty much it for my uh, prediction for 1FC. Um, it's going to be uh, happening on September 3rd. And if you have any comments, just leave them below. And that's it for MMA for you. Thank you very much.